Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Matt, and I'm here giving you a short clip video on the Remington 783-30-06. I have not seen that many videos. In the videos I did see, there were a couple commercial videos, a couple guys shooting them off, one specific guy um, ranting and raving about it. But uh, I'm short and sweet. No bullshit. Let's just get to the fucking point, all right? Great rifle. If you're watching this video, you know the specs. It's got a 22-inch free-floating barrel. It's got an AccuTrigger. Uh, capable of being set to two and a half to five pounds. Factory is three. It's got a um, beautiful sliding bolt. I've had no problems, and before I bought my Leopold, I've already shot a hundred plus rounds through it. Um, bolt has given me no problems, no firing pin, no, no no nothing, no jams, no problems. Four round mag, um, great two again, no problems. Nice and simple to clean. Um, I haven't really been shooting my rifle in that dirty of an area, even though I am shooting my rifle all the time off of a uh, Harris bipod. Um, great sturdy bipod. Yeah, you can swivel the bad boy. The legs extend. That's what the front of it looks like. Let's get to this Leopold right here. Um, I mounted a BX three and a half by ten by forty mill millimeter scope on it. It is a pretty penny, but definitely worth the investment. I know it's a little high in regards to the relationship to the rifle that I mounted it on, but again, these things come with a lifetime warranty, and if I break it, they'll send me a new one. So, damn good job for Leopold. Definitely worth the investment. Um, in regards to it being on the rifle, I sighted it in yesterday to 200 yards, and within the reticle optic on the crosshairs, you've got the, um, the the BDC, the bullet drop compromise positions, um, zeroed in at 200, the next line's 3, 4, 5, 556. <laughs> Absolutely great to look through, clearer than day, I swear to you. They're made to absorb 98 to 99% light in optics, and I'm not lying to you, these Leopold scopes are crystal clear crystal clear. Even being a tin magnification scope is crystal clear. Absolutely beautiful. Um, my buddy had a, uh, I can't remember what the model was, but it was a Nikon and it was by a, by 16, nothing, n not even as clear as this, nowhere near. Uh, totally worth every penny. Beautiful. In regards to the budget rifle conversation, my budget was around $700. And I picked this up for a little over five. Absolutely worth it. Uh, worth it. Sorry. Um, I was putting half inch to inch groupings downrange. Absolutely phenomenal. We left the targets up on the on the ranch because time to go, time to go. Didn't want to walk out that damn far again after we had already been walking out fucking countless times. But in regards to it, the efficiency, the consistency, the precision, and the accuracy, this rifle is great for the cost it is. In regards to um, hunting and um, long-range target shooting, I couldn't be happier for my purchase and my first build of my hunting rifle. Uh, it's nice. I like it. Um, I really suggest if you guys are in that range, in regards to your cash flow and what you've got to spend on it, pick it up. You know, like that's it. Sorry about the low laying down on the floor. It's the only place I could get good room. I'll get out of that bullet for you guys. Just so you can check it out. It's that Harris Bible, Leopold. Little sleeve. It's got a brown shoulder pad. It's pretty nice and pretty cushiony. Good, good stuff. Made in China, but I will. They could have they brought it back home. In fact, everyone that's watching this video, let's fucking try our hardest to bring back a working job force to a to the homeland, you know, we all got rights to bear arms, we all got the right to fucking work and make some cash flow. Um, no more of this fucking outsourcing labor bullshit. Anyways, great scope, buy this, great scope, great rifle, great bipod, get it if you're in this range. Um, you don't necessarily have to go as expensive as I did on the Leopold, but it was an investment for me. I, I just wanted to do it right the first time. Of course, I'm not going to put a Leopold on my AR-15 that I'm getting ready to build, obviously. But on my hunting rifle, I want to be able to see out there and I want it to be clear. And this has um, definitely achieved that. Definitely. So, 
I hope you guys enjoyed your video. Thanks for watching. I feel like all the people I am watched on this, they weren't enthused about it. So I, I wanted to put a video together because I really do enjoy shooting this gun. And it's my first long range rifle. And it's a blast to shoot watermelons, coyotes, um, blow up squirrels, anything you want on a ranch property. If you're out having fun with your friends or if you're big game hunting, this is a fun rifle. Um, but yeah. That's all I got to say about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me blabbing my mouth off about how sick this rifle is. But what beats that, bro? Nothing. Nothing. Well, we all know what beats it.